Is now the right time to buy a tractor? Well, I'll tell you what, I've been doing a lot of driving, a lot of traveling, and I've noticed something really interesting. Inventory is way up at these tractor stores. So I'm at one now, you can see there are a lot of machines here that are ready. And that made me wonder, is this the right time to buy a tractor? Is this a good time because inventory is back up? There is a better supply now? Let's talk about it. Hi, and welcome back to Purple Collar Life. I'm Chad. You can see I'm on a nice new green tractor here. Is now the right time to be tractor shopping? So you can see there's a lot of John Deere here. This tractor is a 3025E. Right beside me is a smaller one. This is a 1025R. So, you know, inventory is back up, and I've noticed this. I've gone to Rural King. I'll put some clips in. I've, I've toured the uh, local Rural King store, and their inventory is back up. What they don't have right now is an RK25 but they do have the 37, they have the 55, they've got the smaller 21, they've even got some 24. So looks like inventory's back up at Rural King. I also drive by a Coyote dealer pretty regularly, and not only is their inventory up, but they're actually having sales. So for the first time that I've seen since 2019, tractor suppliers are starting to have some sales because they've got the inventory to do it. So at the Coyote dealer right now, they've got uh, better financing and they're throwing in at small cost like a rototiller or a rotary brush hog. I think those things are about $500 but I'll put clips in here of looking at those tractors and they have a wide range of sizes so this under 40 horsepower size is really a growing market right now and I think we're seeing the inventory build back up after two or three years of really having nothing in stock. So here you can see even lawn and garden tractors, they're getting better inventory of. There's some X590, X380, 1023E. So this is the smallest of like the subcompact John Deere size, but they've got some of these in stock. You can also see they're getting more used equipment in. For the last several years, it's been really hard to find used equipment because nobody was trading in what they have. But in this back lot, I see a lot of used machines that people have traded in probably on these new machines that are now in stock. So now looking at the two series here, they've got some 2025 R's. Um, one, two, three, four. Four of the 2025's. Here's a 2032, so still under that 40 horsepower range, but a little bit bigger chassis, a little bit more horsepower. Another 2032. This one has the new R14 tires. This one has the traditional R4 industrial tires. Here's a 3038, so you're up at the 38 horsepower range now, so still under 40, but again, getting a little bit more horsepower to do those rear attachment PTO items like a rototiller or a brush hog. And this is a 3038E. The E typically, in my mind, stands for the, the economy. You can see on these ones, the front end loader isn't easily removable. But to find this many tractors in one location is just unheard of. The other thing I've noticed, I've actually gotten snail mail. I've got postcards in the mail from John Deere dealers and Kubota dealers about 0% financing for 72 or 60 months. So that tells me that inventory must really be up if they're willing to finally do some financing incentives and send out mailers for marketing to get people into the stores and looking at these new tractors. And I'm noticing it's not just compact tractors. Here you've got a mini excavator. Um, locked, I can't get in and test it out for you, but this Kubota mini excavator is here on the lot available for sale. And it's not just me noticing this uptick. If you watched a video by Tractor Mike, and I'll put a link to that up above, he actually has statistics of how many tractors are on the lot. And these sub 40 compact tractors, sub 40 horsepower tractors, 
I think the numbers are over what we had in 2019 for inventory. So here we are kind of post the COVID pandemic, inventory is way back up. So if you're asking the question, is now the right time to buy a tractor? I would say the prices are not gonna go down in the future. So it's probably a decent time to at least be looking. At least now there's all this inventory to take a look at. A, you're not gonna be waiting months and months to get a tractor because they're on the lot and available. B, you can see what you're gonna buy before you buy it. I know for the last several years, you've been looking at brochures, considering tractors, but you can't actually sit on one or try it out. Here you can actually see what you're getting before you place the order or buy the machine. And as you can see, there's a lot to choose from here. Just a quick count, I think there's between 50 and 70 Kubota tractors here to take a look at. And then there is probably 30 to 50 John Deere tractors in all in one location. So I could come here and do a lot of shopping just checking things out. There's the L3560, an MX5400, another L3560 limited edition, and an L5460. So there, there's some bigger over 40 horsepower machines here available to take a look at too. But the vast majority of what I'm seeing on these lots is that sub 40 horsepower machine. So if you followed the channel, you know I'm always doing research. I'm kind of tractor shopping all the time. I do it for you guys. The research is for you. But I enjoy looking at all these tractors. And as you can see, you haven't seen this in 2020, 2021, 2022. Zero percent financing for 84 months on a Kubota machine. That tells me there's plenty in stock and they're finally willing to make some deals. So if you're trying to figure out is now the right time to buy a tractor, I think it is. You've got the inventory. You've got a little bit of buying power because there is so much inventory. In fact, there's more inventory than there was in 2019, which makes me think they're gonna be ready to make some deals and probably throw in some attachments or give you deals on attachments. Um, so if you're shopping, my advice is you wanna use it this summer, get out there, check them out. It's nice to be able to compare between models. So I'm not pro Kubota, pro John Deere, pro Coyote, pro RK, I like them all. So make sure you're looking at them and comparing features and finding the machine that you're looking for has everything that you need to do the work you need to get done. So I am not a financial advisor. Don't take any financial advice from me. But it seems to me like if you are in the market to buy a tractor, now is absolutely the right time to get out there looking, make a deal, take advantage of this great financing. 0% for 84 months, that's like free money, right Jennifer? I mean, how could you not buy a tractor right now? Thanks for watching today. If you found this video informative or entertaining, we'd appreciate it if you give us a big thumbs up. Leave those comments down below what type of tractor you're shopping for and what you think about these really good deals right now. Like I said, the prices aren't necessarily back to where they were in 2019, but what can you buy today for the amount of money you could have bought for in 2019? Prices are up on everything. What I like is that there's inventory and there's better financing available. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time.